Well, it seems like this Rolling Loud wasn't good for two artists. <laughs> I'm Goddess Raven, and this is the Goddess Raven Show, and I just got a little bit of tea. <laughs> That's right, just a little bit of tea that I want you to sip with me, because it is tea time, y'all. So let's get into this, okay? The baby thought it was cool to make a statement and bring Tory Lanez on stage, but it may cause some trouble for his controversial friend. Seems that TMZ is reporting that Tory Lanez appearing on the stage that Megan Thee Stallion had just left angered her and her team as she was still backstage, which also was a violation of a protective order against lanes that requires he remains a hundred yards from the stallion. So Megan performed before the baby. And once the um, sugar rapper hit the stage, he brought out Tory Lanez. Following that moment, he would go on to perform one of his biggest hits with the stallion. Cash-ish, okay? So TMZ highlights the baby's performing. Meg's single also created a moment of anger as it was viewed as an F-U to her. The um, criminal, the criminal case against Tori and the moment in which she was harmed. After the performance, the Miami PD were reportedly contacted about a possible violation of the protection Order leading to the LA County District Attorney notification. Ooh, child. So Megan and Tori were stated to have never crossed paths. Okay, so they're saying that they never they wasn't supposed to um, cross paths at all. Okay, especially with this protective order in place, y'all. So ignoring the backlash online, Tori Lanes is continuing to promote music. Um, <laughs> he is continuing to promote music, releasing a new EP called We Outside in celebration of his birthday, while also shutting down the ideal of cancel con culture. So cancel culture doesn't exist, he says. It's just a small group of ends on Twitter tweeting at the same time. This is what Tori's is saying. This is what Tori's saying about this now. Okay. Prior to the album, Tory Lanez claimed he was framed during a freestyle on Funk Flex radio show. Shout out to the baby, um, Roddy Rich, and little baby. What am I about to say? What I'm about to say is going to sound a little crazy. Mm -hmm. But it's true, so don't play me. Mm -hmm. Y'all all would have got your awards if they didn't frame me. Mm-hmm. Okay. So it looks like he has been mm -hmm. Ooh, saying a lot, child. Let me sip. I'm, I'm, I don't need tea. I need something stronger. So it looks like he's been um saying a lot out here in these streets, huh? And some people are just not feeling it, okay? They not. So the freestyle would also appear to violate another court order. Back in February, Tory Lanez was placed on a court-mandated gag order in his criminal case involving the alleged papal of Megan the Stallion. Lanez cannot publicly comment on the case. Lanez submitted to a request to be able to speak publicly about the shooting in, in July of 2020. He is facing one felony count each of assault with a semi-automatic. And, of course, carrying a loaded, you know, unregistered pow-pow-pow in a vehicle. Ooh, ooh, child. What do y'all think? Hmm? Yeah, and, yeah, Auntie Wendy, I agree, baby. The tea is exceptionally good today. So what do y'all think, y'all? Comment below and let me know. Hmm? Is Tori in trouble for violating not one but two parts of his criminal case? And what the heck kind of consequences do you think he gonna face? None of the district attorney uh, attorney knows. Mm -mm, see, 
Sometimes yeah, it's just better to stay your ass on home. I know he wanted to promote this album, but you saying I'm doing a little bit too much for me. Mm-mm-mm. Y'all, come below and let me know. No, okay, Auntie Wendy, you're right. The tea is exceptionally good today. Come below. Don't forget to click like and subscribe. I appreciate the love. And you know what? I am out. Bye, y'all.